Good afternoon. Welcome to episode seven of this drunk old man. As you can see, I have my Ireland shirt on, and today is the last day we're going to do Irish whiskeys. I'm sad about it. I hope you are too. We're going to move on to other things because the next episode will fall on <laughs> the Cinco de Mayo. So we have to, you know, have sort of bases, margaritas, and tequila. Mm. And of course, a good cigar, as always. But anyways, we have a special guest today, since this is the last day of uh, Irish whiskey. I almost had to ask for a cue card there. We saw this. I saw this. It was very interesting. This is another Irish whiskey. Uh, we're going to try that, too, and see if, how that tastes. Uh, it looked interesting. It looked kind of uh, modern for the old stuff that is Irish whiskey. That's what I'm saying. As always, we have the dog fire barbecues going over there. And, of course, the uh, producer and director over there who make me mess up all the time. But that's our, that's our job. So, anyways, also... The producer over here, she's a diabetic or semi-diabetic or headed that way, whatever. So we have to find stuff for her, which is always fun. So it's not fun, but anyways. So we found this. This is Kettle One, which is an amazing vodka. We'll get into vodkas one day, but this is amazing. It's sugar-free. And uh, for a person who's not really into alcohol, she's weird, I know, uh, it is very good, and uh, she can't take it. We put in a little Lipton uh, peach tea, and she doesn't taste it at all. And then she's all, I'm feeling funky. and like, well, good for you. We were going to have her drink on camera today, but she's uh, she's she's too tired to drink today. Hold on. No, no. Anyways, so that's... You got people that can't have sugar right there. Sugar-free, guilt-free, hopefully... Not in jail the next day. But anyways, that's fine. You know, who knows what's going to happen. Mm. It's dangerous, though, because you can't taste it. It's never good. So anyways, let's go to this beautiful bottle of Tullamore Dew Irish whiskey. Got it on. Good deal today. Where, oh, hear that? Oh. It's like breaking the seal of a pack of money. Ooh, that smells pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Let's get this uh, let's get this going. I feel like I'm, I'm upside down. <laughs> I'm kind of it might be eight today. I'm kind of sideways. Anyways, well, let's try that. Let's uh, here. It smells light, kind of like the uh, bushmills. Smells good. Getting a lot of flavors and. Smells. <laughs> I can't remember what the hell that meant. What do you do with this? Light smell. Yeah. That's just straightforward. Bold to the point. Right to the back of the throat. It says, hello, I'm Irish Whiskey and glad to meet you. Mm, that's good. That's good stuff. Yeah. Side note, the uh, off-camera crew just burned their feet on the little fire we have going here. You know, so I was professional. Didn't even laugh as much as I want to. Uh, too late, I did. So that's pretty good. Now, after a few, I'm getting the, the peat. <laughs> Sorry, I choked earlier on a chip, and I'm still recovering from that. Uh, the peat is coming into the back, so it's kind of like you swallow, kind of gets down in there. It's coming back up. You're getting a little peaty. So I'm going to tell you what. With the vanilla cigar, mm, it's really a, that I can't keep lit. Mm. Very good. It um, balances it out. Kind of takes the peat away. Unless you like peat, and then don't do that. I don't know anyone named peat, so I don't really don't care. But anyways. <laughs> so anyways. Uh, let's try this one real quick. Well, the bad part is I don't have a glass with ice here, so we're just going to sip it. We're not going to mad dog like we did the uh, peanut, butter. peanut butter. Thank you, producer. Uh, that uh, ended up uh, passing out on the couch after uh, th three of these and four of those. <laughs> not, 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 not good. I took some shoot from that. I said shoot. So let's try. We're going to just, just for, for flavor. Hang on. Before we do that, we have our nice smart water to uh, keep hydrated. Okay, let's clean the palate. Uh, all right. So 
I smell like perfume you? Hang on, we gotta, we gotta get a consult. <laughs> it smells perfumey. Yeah? Yes, it does. Does it? It smells mm -hmm. like perfume. It's the sweat of Irish herbs <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Here we go. Bottoms up. It's got a, um, they're going to laugh. Sexton, a little of the Sexton. Well, the younger of the staff laughed. She thinks that's freaking hilarious. But anyways, um, yeah, uh, believe it or not, it wasn't, I mean, it was cheap because I got a small one, of course, but the actual bottle is not terribly cheap. But, um, I don't know. Try it. See what you think. I wouldn't get it again. I may not even finish this. She was kidding. I'm going to drink the hell out of that. But anyways, just remember this is it. We'll come back to Irish, but we've got a lot of liquor to cover. We've got gin and vodka and tequila, which I'm not a fan. But we're going to do it for you. So see what a great guy I am. going to suffer through that shit for you. So we'll see you again on episode eight. If they're getting up there. We're trying to get into triple digits at some point. By then I should be in complete kidney failure. And it will be fine. You know, just hook over to the machine and have a drink and review the next one. <laughs> but as always, keep it real, peeps. And I want to drink one, so you should drink one too. Mm. Can't keep the cigar lit. All right, we'll see you on the next month. Cinco de Mayo!